Yeah, most definitely. I mean, so I'm I'm just so certain this this will you know this this love I have with this gal will last forever. So yeah, certainly the the clients you get you know will be will be friends of friends of friends and and other people that run into the site and realize that the opportunity to meet somebody is is、uh, unprecedented in this situation.、It、really is. Today, I want to talk about the fiance visa because you know most of what we talk about here is about how to meet the women, how to be successful,、um, and we don't spend enough time, I don't think, about talking about what happens once you are successful, what happens once you do meet the woman of your dreams and you bring her here to the United States. Let's say、so、we're going to focus on the U.S. fiance visa process because we're unique in the fact that in the United States you only have 90 days. Either be married, or she has to go back. Okay,、um, and that that is unique. And I'll tell you guys, I went through it myself. Okay, so I can speak not only from experience, but also from all the clients that I've worked with over the last 20 years that have gone through this. There are so many different factors, different dynamics that work during that 90-day period. That's why TLC decided to do the show, 90-day fiance. This 90-day clock that's ticking every day, and the couples understand that they're under that pressure, under that gun, to either be married or go back in 90 days. And guys, there are no extensions. It's either you're going to get married or she's going to go back, and that's it. First of all, I think one of the most important things is that the two of you are truly ready to go through this process. The fiance visa process before she comes over, that time period is going to be about six to eight months. So I understand that you're going to have that six to eight months to get to know each other better, and maybe she'll end up coming over, maybe she won't. And you're starting the process, and you're still getting to know each other better. Maybe you can go back over there and spend more time with her. Maybe the two of you can go to some other country that she can go to easily. There's a ton of places that she can go easily, and you can spend maybe a couple weeks together in those areas, or you can spend more time. Sure that you're really comfortable with it, with this situation, both of you, and mutually you're ready to move forward. So that when she does get that visa, and she comes back with that visa, it's not like oh my god moment, but it's a great. She got the visa, fantastic. We're moving forward, okay?、Um, because when she comes over and she gets on that plane and she walks into your life here, you want to be as sure as you possibly can that this is something that you absolutely want to do. And barring any unforeseen circumstances, barring any unforeseen issues that are going to arise, you're ready to walk down the altar tomorrow. And if if you're going into it with that attitude, she comes over and she's under the same impression, then the stress level goes way down because now you're talking. Okay, well maybe we can get married next month, and you're starting the plans, and it's not so much of a period of well, are we really right for each other? Because that that 90 days, guys, it goes by like that. And if you're still in that evaluation process, and you're still evaluating, you're still thinking, and you're still judging, or she's still doing it, or both of you are still doing it, that's going to lead to a lot of stress. But if you're together and you're happy and moving forward, then then that's great, and it makes it a lot easier.
So we want to try and keep it as real as possible. You know, obviously you want to impress and you want to put that best foot forward and you should. But as the relationship gets more and more serious and you're talking about merging those two lives into one, then you really want to try and be as realistic as possible and make paint a really realistic picture of what your life is going to be like when she gets here and what her life is going to be like so that when she gets here she's not you know totally freaked out all right and she should be doing the same for you you know she's acting in one way uh, during this courtship process but when she comes over here she just sits on the couch all day and eats bonbons and turns into a totally different person that's not good either so it works both ways obviously and both people have to be honest with each other about who they really are because during that 90 day period you're going to learn a lot about that person and then you've got this extra stress of that 90 days Interested? Learn more at... If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.